Well, Alan and I are going to take you on a little ride. We've just crossed the bridge on I-24, and the minute you cross that bridge, almost the minute you cross that bridge, you're in the city of Paducah. Uh, we just passed exit 3, and now we're going to get off at exit 4, which is where our park and ride location is at Kentucky Oaks Mall. You'll also see that there are a lot of restaurants and and hotels out in this area so many of you are probably staying right off of exit 4. So now we're going to take exit 4 and as soon as we round off to the right to this exit we do have some new restaurants that have just opened up and they include Starbucks and Five Guys Burgers is not quite open but hopefully it will be by the time we get the show open and Qdoba, which is a little Mexican restaurant. Uh, Jimmy John's is located in here as well. You'll notice that I stayed in the right-hand lane as I exited exit four on the, from the interstate. And so we're gonna go around the corner here and the next thing we wanna do is try to move into the left-hand lane, which we will do right here because we wanna turn at this first street right here at Kentucky Oaks Mall. You'll see the Best Buy sign J.C. Penney, and it's the section right here at this first entrance where you see the speed limit sign. It's this section right here that is where we will have a sign that says AQS Park and Ride, and this particular shuttle will run from 9 till 6, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and from 9 until 4 on Saturday. Uh, it will go from here directly back downtown to the convention center. There's no charge to park in this park and ride, and there is no charge to ride the shuttle down to the show. Now, as I get back out here on the bypass road that goes around the mall, you wanna make sure you get in the left-hand lane because we will be making a left-hand turn at the stoplight. We have two lanes that turn left. Uh, I'm gonna stay in the right-hand lane so that we will be on the right-hand side as we go back downtown. Okay, now after you've passed all these car dealerships and the Enterprise on your right, over here on your left, you have to drive back down into where the grocery store is, uh, but that's the nearest grocery store for you to be able to get any kind of supplies that you might need there. And if you're coming from the other direction, it would be on your right, right after you've passed Noble Park. Now, this particular street has more than one name. And so when we got on it out by the mall, then it was called Hinkleville Road. When we get into this section, it's called, this section is called Martin Luther King Boulevard. And when you continue on, it becomes Park Avenue. And then that makes a big corner and becomes 4th Street. You haven't left one step to the right or the left on this particular street, but you, you, you could cover four different streets as you go downtown. And so if you're, if you're driving and using a um, state map or a map of the area, this is also Highway 60, and this is the business route through town. Okay, you'll know you're on Martin Luther King Boulevard when you see this little park off to the left. When you see the railroad tracks and this stoplight ahead, we're going, to turn, we're going to take a right right here on 9th Street because this is the Paducah School of Art and Design. And we will have a great exhibit here called Korean Quilts Now. And this has come from the Studio Art Quilters. Um, the entrance to their kitchen is right here. And we're going to go around the corner here on Harrison Street to the main entrance. And you'll see a shuttle stop sign right here. A sandwich board. You'll see a banner right here. Uh, but 905 Harrison Street is the main entrance. And if you just go right straight in and off to your right is the Bill Ford Gallery. That's where you'll find the Korean Quilts Now exhibit. And if you're here on Thursday at five o'clock on Thursday evening, they're going to have a special reception because three of the quilt makers from this exhibit will be with us here in Paducah this year and uh, you'll get a chance to meet and talk to those quilt makers. There is limited parking, 
behind the building here. You can see that they have uh, quite a few spaces in their parking lot. You can park there and or if you're going to come from the convention center, you can catch the shuttle in front of the expo center and ride both to the pavilion where there will be quilts and vendors and one of those shuttles will come over here to the school. If you're taking any of the painting and dyeing classes, uh, we're using the wonderful textile lab they have here at the school and uh, those classes will run at the same times as the regular classes do from 8.30 to 11.30 and from 1 to 4. So I just went around the block and now we'll head on down here toward the parking areas. Off here to your left you'll see the Holiday Inn and so we're, we would, if we're going to the convention center, we would turn right there, but we're gonna go downtown and show you some places that you could park. On the side streets that we've just passed, uh, there is parking on the side streets, but that fills up pretty quickly. Uh, but we've been finding that we have a couple city lots, and I'm gonna move over to the left-hand lane so I can turn left. We have a couple city lots that uh, have not been utilized to capacity and they're really pretty close to the museum and to the convention center uh, so you might want to try these lots before you have to go searching for someplace else we really have limited parking on the grounds of the convention center we use part of the parking space for a place to put uh, a food tent and food vendors we are now at the corner of fourth street and broadway and i'm going to turn left and it only goes left it is a one-way street, and I'm going to stay in the left-hand lane. And so you can turn right here at the gazebo, and the entrance to the parking lot is not the first entrance that you see here. There will be a horse and buggy ride there, but the second drive. So this would be the entrance to go into this particular parking lot. and. Uh, we're going to stop at the stop sign and then you'll see a very large parking lot But be sure to check out both of these parking lots when you come into town because they have been underutilized uh, for the last two or three years uh, Both of these parking lots are right here by the quilt museum too So if you're coming to the quilt museum and another way that you can get to the museum quickly the quilt museum is uh, they run a van shuttle that's all it does is goes from the AQS shuttle stop there at the convention center and comes over to the museum and then goes back. So if you want to come quickly, that is the quickest route to get to the Quilt Museum. We also will have two trolleys that will be going from the AQS shuttle stop and it will go through Lower Town, the Lower Town Art District and downtown Paducah. So those are the two ways that you can hop a ride and be able to get to the museum and downtown. The trolleys is what you would want to take if you want to go to the Finkel building where we have the AQS Hurt book sale. And uh, I will just note that that's open on Tuesday from 10 until 6, as well as show hours the rest of the week. So you can, if you come to town on Tuesday, you can do that. You can go to the Yeiser Art Gallery where they have the Fantastic Fibers exhibit. And so now I've just turned at that stoplight and we've, we're in front of the Holiday Inn and ahead of us is the Convention Center. And right here on this side where you see those white panels is where the buses will stop. And you will not be able to drive in this section. There will be barricades up along here. Uh, and so if you were driving into the parking lot here, I'll take you on that route because you have to go around these trees and that's where the parking would be available. I will tell you that the parking in the convention center lot fills up pretty quickly. So if you aren't here very early in the morning, you definitely want to try those other lots. So now we're in front of the Expo Center. 